Welcome to the Game Changer Podcast. Today's topic, how to be an alpha, not a beta. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Top of the morning, welcome back. This is the Game Changer Podcast with Tim Mangali. You guys better get your minds right and get up and let's go. Go, 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 uh-huh. go, go. See, it's more than the game that we change. We don't do it for My friends, great to be with you guys. Welcome, welcome to the podcast called the Game Changer. I appreciate y'all listening. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe, like, mash that subscribe button. On any of the other platforms, please leave us a review. It helps with our ratings, getting the message out, and share this with someone who needs to hear it. Okay, all right, let's talk about this. I'm a man, I'm an athlete. We're upon football season right now at the time I'm shooting this. And you know, what's wild to me is when I play sports, I get, I get really I worked up, maybe not the right words, but I get excited. And there is a, a mode and a method of being in a certain mode, a way of being. I gotta go to a place to play football. And right, sometimes we call it accessing the dog, but today I'm gonna use the word alpha. Right. I remember playing football, right? There's like this jockeying for position with players because in every relationship, every situation, everyone has what's called a frame. I got this out of a book called Pitch Anything by Oren Claff and it talks about frame control. And if I'm the more powerful guy, my frame will take over. My frame in my rooms, in my events, it's my frame. With my clients, my frame controls the frame. It controls the game. If I'm driving down the road and a police officer flips the lights on, he's got the frame. Even the president of the United States, whoever it is, while he may be the POTUS and the most powerful man in the country, there's still a time where his frame is not the frame. When he sits with the doctor, the doctor has the frame. So when we talk about being this powerful alpha man, I think about athletes, I think about leaders in business, I think about great men, but what does it mean to be an alpha? And what does it mean to be a beta? You see, I believe society has the whole alpha thing mixed up. They think an alpha is like this condescending, rude, jerk, mean person. And I'm gonna share with you some of my thoughts on what it means to be an alpha and not a beta. So there's a acronym we've come up with, just to help you, A-L-P-H-A, my alpha. And I'm gonna share that with you today. If you want to be a leader, if you are a man and you want to be an alpha, you know, a man who when he walks into the room, everybody knows, everybody notices. When he walks into the gym, people take note. When he walks into the restaurant, people take note. And like, I'll ask of you while you're listening to this, I want you to really listen with your heart because the world needs more alphas. No question. Even I love the word benevolent alpha. Jesus was an alpha. I know some people are like, oh, don't talk about my Jesus that way. I'm a disciple of Jesus. I am a follower of Jesus the Christ. And yes, he was an alpha. He was not a beta. I'm gonna give you this acronym. Here, here we go. A in the word alpha. A stands for attract. Powerful men or alphas, they're attractive. Now I'm not just talking about like the way you look, your physical looks, but there's an attractive character in who you be. You know, you attract people. You attract opportunities. You attract people and things. Like people want to be around you because of who you're being. Me being an alpha is all about a way of being. And my language was just being powerful. When you're powerful, you're not needy. You're not desperate. You're not trying to get the attention of people. You're not doing things to get attention. No, you just attract because of who you're being. And who you're being comes down because you have created a version of you that knows who you are. So do you know who you are? Who are you? Or ask the question, who am I? I know who I am because I know who I am and I know where I'm at and I know where I'm going. I can move with purpose and I can move with a conviction and it's attractive. If your stomach's hanging over your belt, if you're unattractive in the way you dress, your hygiene, if you have low self-confidence and you're constantly apologizing, you ain't attracting nobody. So check yourself. If you saw yourself walk in, if you saw how you dress, and again, you don't, I'm not talking about specific brand clothing, just are you attractive, yes or no? Is your language powerful so when you speak, it garners and attracts attention? The L inside of alpha is lead. So not only are you attractive and you can attract people, you've got to be able to lead. What do leaders do? They lead. It doesn't mean you have to be the one up front. You can lead as a follower. Right now, I am inside of a, in my church, right? My business partner, his name is Spencer Kimball. He, he's actually our, it's what we call a stake president. So he's over like four or 5,000 people in our congregations, right? This whole area. He's the, the guy. And 
I'm a leader, but I'm a leader as a follower. Like we sit in meetings and with other people in our church and we counsel. And while I am a leader, I can lead as a follower. So I don't always have to be the one running the meeting, but leaders lead. We were walking the other day along uh, scenic 98 where I live here in Destin, Florida. And there's a, a can, a beer can, that someone had just like left on like the walkway. I picked it up. Because leaders lead. I'm, I'm going to lead from where I stand and what I believe. I'm, I'm going to pick this beer can up and throw it in the trash. Same thing we were traveling with my wife. We stopped in Tallahassee. I remember we went to go get some, I want to say Panda Express. Coming home from watching our girl graduate from Valdosta. And I pull into the Panda and there's like someone had left all of their trash just sitting there. One of the workers is literally on his phone. I'm like, I, I don't need anyone to tell me to pick that up. That's just who I be. I'm an alpha. I'm attractive in how I speak, how I dress, how I see myself. I attract people because number two, I'm a leader. I lead. I do the things that leaders do. We lead, we organize, we talk, we commit people. So are you attractive? Number two, are you a leader? And before you can lead other people, got to lead yourself. Do you lead yourself? Do you make and keep commitments? Do you follow through? Do you do the things that you say you're going to do? Attract, lead, the P stands for protect. Now, I do not know any alphas who run away from the dangers. Alphas run into the storm. Alphas run into the fire. Alphas run why? Because as a man, I have a duty to protect women, children, and other men if that's what's required. I'm six foot four, about 300 pounds. I imagine scenarios where if something was going down, I'm gonna put my family and protect them, then I'm gonna go to help. But see, it's not just physical protection. It's protecting your loved ones and all people against danger. I see kids in, in our office space going to the bathroom. I'm like, I'll protect that child. I don't know whose child that is, it may not be my child, but it's someone's child. So I will take a stand. If I ever see a woman, if I ever see a woman or a child being abused in public, the dude who's doing that, like he's going to suffer. Alphas also protect their families against spiritual warfare, against the evils of the world. Your job is to teach your children and protect your home and protect the laptops. I got my two, my son's a Chromebook and their HP laptops over here. I gotta put some protection devices on there to make sure that they can't just stumble onto pornography. Like That's my job is to protect them. So if you think about being an alpha, right? Attract, do you attract people and opportunities or do you repel them because of your mindset and who you're being? Number two, do you lead yourself so that you can lead others? Number three, do you protect yourself and do you protect others against dangers, against warfare, against pernicious evils? The H inside of Alpha stands for hunt. Oh, I love this one. Hunt, what does that mean? Not Ethan Hunt for Mission Impossible. Hunt means to go and provide. I know too many men out there who are bums. You don't even try. Look, you don't have to go make a million bucks or 10 million. But you do need to be able to provide. Hunt. You know, back in the day where if you don't catch and kill an animal, your family is going to starve. So hunt. Develop. I mean, imagine a literal hunt with like a bow and arrow or guns. You got to have skill. You got to be strong. You got to think. You got to be able to take care of your body so you can get to sleep and wake up and take care of yourself. And hunt. We have a phrase in our language that says, we hunt buffalo. Like I remember there's a movie called, it was the Kevin Costner, Dances with Wolves. They hunt buffalo. Buffalo is like the meat. It would sustain a village. So as a man, I hunt. I hunt daily. I develop my skills daily. I keep my mindset sharp daily. I keep my spirit in tune with my God daily so I can become the greatest version of me. Hunt. Do you know how to hunt? And it's not just hunt for food or for money. Do you know how to hunt for opportunities? I shared this on a podcast. A good friend of mine was looking to, you know, for us to fund his business. And he wanted my help. And I said, hey, you know, let go. You go come up with the 75,000. I'll bring the second 75,000. And he's like, I mean, I'm stuck. I'm like, hey, if your child was going to die and you needed a hundred grand, could you get it? What would you do? I'd rob a bank. Well, okay, there's one option. But you got to be able to hunt. You got to be able to ask. You got to be able to figure things out. With the internet and chat, GBT and Google and people and like and podcasts, like there is at your fingertips. You can hunt, you can find things. And so like we got attract, lead, protect, hunt. And then the A, the last A in alpha is act. You know, act simply means just to decide, go, go now. 
choose. Quit sitting on the fence of indecision. Oh, I don't know what to do. Let me think about this. Ah, like, come on, man. Alphas act. Alphas decide even if they make the wrong decision, they back up and course correct. Act. Where do you need to act more decisively in spite of thoughts, feelings, emotions, and moods? <laughs> Be an alpha. Being an alpha is fun. You get what you want. I remember I was on a plane flying to Vegas and we flew on Allegiant. Never fly Allegiant. First time I've ever flown it. So I bought the first row on the aisle so I could have some space. It wasn't a bad flight. I liked it. And there's a lady sitting next to me. She was complaining about the flight attendant. She was mad. She said, I'm going to report them. Obviously, some type of verbal altercation took place. Now, the alpha in me saw an opportunity to just take over. So I sat next to the lady, I started talking to her. I calmed her down. We, we had a great talk and then we talked the whole way to Las Vegas. And the flight attendants pulled me over and they said, thank you so much. I'm like, for what? Like for just taking the situation over and having her calm down. You see, that's what an alpha does. An alpha leads, an alpha protects, an alpha loves, an alpha chooses. It don't matter what situation I'm in. I'm gonna own the frame and I'm gonna control the frame to create maximum value for people. That's what I do. So my invitation to you, take a look at your life and just ask, am I an alpha? Am I a benevolent alpha? Am I a leader? Do people look to me for help? Do people look up to me because I live an amazing life or I strive to be excellent? Do I love people? Do I protect? Do I hunt? Do I make decisions? Am I attractive in everything that I say and do? Or am I just average? Be a benevolent alpha today. This is part one. We'll talk about a beta on the next one. Until next time, go be an alpha. Go try it on. I love and appreciate y'all for listening. Thank you so much. And share this with someone who needs to hear it. Until next time, I'm out. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Uh -huh. See, it's more than the game that we changing. We don't do it for the block. Do it for the name. Yeah. No, there ain't no stopping it. If you really want it, better rock with it. This is how to be a game changer. Better put your pride down.